And now for a little escapism, as we're just ahead of Passover and the heavy tourism season, we'll be updating you weekly on all of the Israel tourism related news that you should probably hear. And with us to deliver is ILTV reporter Marnie Shamroth. Marnie, it's great to have you. So tell us, uh, tell us what, you know, what you got. Thank you, Aaron. So as you said, you can keep up to date with us on everything new in tourism and traveling. So let's get started. After two years in which many of us gave up our annual vacation abroad and chose to stay at home or vacation at home in Israel, it seems that the sky is finally opening up for Israelis who are taking advantage of the decreasing wave and are returning to flying, with the number of leaving almost reaching the same amount as before the corona outbreak. In March alone, about 500,000 Israelis travel abroad, similar to March 2019 before the pandemic crisis. In addition, according to the Central Bureau of Statistics, in the first quarter of the year, 1 million departures were recorded abroad, compared to 1.5 million in the first quarter of 2019. Tourists are also returning to Israel. 170,000 tourist arrivals were reported last month, about a third of which came from the U.S. In March last year, only about 6,700 tourists arrived in the country, following the government's closed sky policy. So for anyone who's wondering where their next vacation will be, we highly recommend coming to Israel. And in the following panels, we will update of locations exactly where to travel. On to the next thing, leave what you're doing right now and come eat at Jerusalem's Tasting the World Festival, which is underway for the month of April. The festival will take place this year between April 10th and 14th, about a week before Passover, in Gana Bonim at the foot of the Jaffa Gate. Dozens of leading chefs will take part in the culinary event initiated by the Ministry of Jerusalem and Heritage and produced by the East Jerusalem Development Company. Among the chefs who will participate in the festival, big names such as Shaul Ben Adelet's Blue Rooster, Nisim Segev, Segev's Hamburger, and more. As part of the festival, huge backdrops will be placed to represent the various countries, and food complex will be featuring musicians and entertainment. Chef's dishes will cost up to about 35 shekels per serving. And let's end this segment with the amazing news of El Al's newest CEO, the first woman to ever head Israel's leading airline. El Al is reaching new heights, and for the first time in its history, there will be a female CEO led by Dina Bental Genencia. This news should not be taken for granted, especially in the light of the managerial nature of El Al and the controlling shareholders of the company. Prior to her position as El Al's Vice President of the Commerce, Bental Geninsa served as the Head of Revenue Management Division in the company's trading division, in which she operated for six years. During this time, she had billions of shekels in revenue from passenger operations. Not only was she chosen for the reason for someone who grew in the company, but in the gender aspect, this will be the first time that a woman will serve as a CEO in the largest airline in Israel. In the aviation industry, the proportion of women sitting in the CEO's chair is marginal, but on a changing trend. Among the prominent CEOs is Anne Rigay, CEO of Air France. KLM also recently had a chosen woman, and Marion Rintel for the position of CEO. And that's it for us today. Back to you, Aaron. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.